clean-up time in Bushko. But even as the broken glass and rubble is swept away, an atmosphere of tension still prevails. That can't be swept away so easily as riot can be. 24 hours after the skirmishes, Western peacekeepers were maintaining a watchful eye and a high profile. And just down the road in Parley, so too are Radovan Karadzic's supporters. Their triumphant, praised by the hardline opponents of President Liliana Klavsic for their show of defiance. At the S4 base, it was time to take stock of the damage to personnel and equipment by crude homemade weaponry that normally would be no match for a tank like this. I got hit in the eye with a brick and it, it kind of blindsided me. I put my arm up and then the board started hitting me. The West is determined to shore up Plavsic's position. The US has sent Robert Gelbard to Belgrade to pressure Yugoslav leader Slobodan Milosevic into backing her and get indicted war criminals before an international court in The Hague. Meanwhile, in volatile communities like Grushko, the tensions at grassroots level continue to mount. The NATO-led S4 troops show no signs of withdrawing. But some of the other Western peacekeeping initiatives have been reassessed angry clashes of the day before. An international police task force was forced out in a pre-dawn evacuation. Some were injured during the withdrawal. It's not clear if they'll be coming back. Things are back to normal. I think the, the other question is how much time is needed to bring things back to the abnormal state that was there yesterday. We hope that it will take a very long time before that ever happens again. We hope local authorities will never let that happen again on the streets of Birchka. The barricades are already in place if it does. <laughs>